this little short video. I'm gonna just aim this one at the um, the young guys that that are home doing their own music, pretty much the home studio cats that's doing their work at home, which I think is incredible. Um, we're in a different time in music. Where I remember when I was coming up, you actually had to save your money so you can block time at the local studio <laughs> because we didn't have this ability um, that most of the guys have now or girls have now. So um, without further ado, the thing I want to get into is I see a lot of um, a lot of people setting up their channel strip in a, in, in a strange kind of fashion and only because they can do it. Like Just because you can throw stuff all on your channel strip doesn't necessarily mean that it will um, give you the best result. Um, and and not to say and that's not to say that it's a right and the wrong way to do this stuff. In the way it is, um, a right and the wrong way to do, it, especially with audio, because when it comes to foundational things like game staging and things like that, that's a right and the wrong way. I mean, I know there's a lot of debate online. People get back and forth about, yeah, well, you do it this way. You do it. I mean, all right, you know, yeah, you can get around the block a block of a thousand ways on the computer. That's true, but when it comes to foundational things. You don't change that. I mean, all the pros will tell you the same thing. So get you some good mentors when you coming into this. I mean, and don't forget, you're always learning. So when you start acting like you know the whole, you know it all, it's, it's it's a shame because some people don't even know enough about a subject to know when they're wrong. So that's the that's the bad thing. But anyway, without lecturing you to death, what I'm trying to show is that on your channel strip, you don't necessarily want to put everything in here. And I'm and I'll I'm sorry, illustrate this quickly by saying, let's say. You got all you got your uh you know you got your your preamp and you got your compressor you got everything you want you got the mic sounding pretty decent right like this might not sound like the greatest mic right now it's an old SM57 but uh sure SM57 but it's getting the it's getting the point across it's clear enough for you to hear my voice and and this, for the purpose of this video it's gonna do what I need now I'm just showing you that if I wanted to add echo I could do it here right under my delay category and I could choose like the Galaxy tape all right, all right so, so you hear that, that little, little change, change in the, in the echo, echo, right? right? So, that's, so that's, you hear, you that. hear that. But, but I, why, would why would I put, I put this, this here? Because if I had, had the gain stage, when, when I, turn I turn this down, down watch what happens here. I'm going to talk, but this is going to disappear. disappear. Okay, okay, I'm going to keep, keep talking. talking. I'm going to keep talking. Unfortunately, if I do that, and I try to gain stage that, because I'm looking at my main meter, my two bus meter. Remember, everything's a sum, right? So all these tracks add up. Why would I want to gain stage right here on this plugin? See, See, that's what that's I'm what saying. saying. So, so that's not that's a good not place. place. Take it out of here and put it in a, what's called a, a, a send or a bus. In the old days, we call it auxiliary. But, but yeah, yeah, put it put there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to put that same plug-in in, um, in my auxiliary strip. See, I already have it set up. Let me just save a little time. Um, I'll click on it, and I'll turn it on. Um, you know, activate it here. And you'll see, like, I'll say, hey, send that sound, that signal to to that that bus, whatever you name it, right? You can call it whatever you want in your DAW. Uh, for this, let's say it's, it's delay, right? Let's let's say it was called delay. Now on the on the auxiliary side of things, I want to push that that up here, and then you'll hear it coming in. You hear that? Now I can exaggerate it like crazy, but the point is, if I was to gain stage that plugin, and I gain stage it from here. I'm not gonna affect my original input signal. I'm only gonna affect the uh, the plugin because it's on the send, right? Like, watch this. I'll turn this all the way down. Oh, I turned it all the way down. I don't even know if it turned it all the way down this way, but anyway, yeah, it did. So you can hear this, this, the effect go away, right? Now I'm gonna increase it, but you know, my volume didn't leave like last time earlier when I had it on the strip. So you see the benefit, that's powerful, right? That's the way you wanna use um, uh, plugins, any kind of plugin on, in your songs. Don't put it on your channel directly. It's a, it's a, it's an effect. Stick it on the sin, so that way you can control how much you're giving it. Wet or dry, you know that was the term. Wet or dry. See, I'm pulling it back now. And also, um, I'll mention in a later video about why you want to make it post versus uh, pre in this situation, all right? Or most situations. All right. Till next time. Shalom.